Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to learn about the records in Java. So let's get started. Now records are the really important feature in the modern Java. As we already know that to store couple of values itself in a Java in a class we have to do a lot of things right. We have to go through the creating a class. We have to go through adding the instance variables. We have to create a constructors, get a setters, two string methods, equals and hash code methods and lot of things. Right? So records are the way to remove all that boilerplate code and just to define a record and we can use that to store the data. So let's understand the difference between how we are able to create a class with all those particular methods and everything and how we are able to create a record which is a simplified form of storing the data. So let's take the example and let's understand the differences and how we can use the record in Java. Let me just create the simple class over here. Okay, I'm just creating a student class. Okay, and here you can see that I have created a simple class over here. Now, if I want to store a couple of fields within this student class because I want to transfer data from one layer to different layers within my Java application. So what I can do, I can create the instance fields and I can create the different methods to set the values, get the values and so on. Okay, so let me do that. So what I'll do, I'll create a variables here, private string name and private string email. So you can see that I have just added two things over here. Now with this just two fields I won't be able to do anything right because I need to have a constructors and getter setters and everything. Now what I will do is I will create a constructor here okay. So let me just create a constructor which will take all the two fields and it will set all the values for us okay. So here you can see that I have just created a constructor which will take two fields that is a name and email and it will set all the values for us. Now what I will do is I will create a getter setters not setters because I'm directly setting all these values from the constructor itself. So let me just add the getters. I don't need setters for now. So I'll just create the getters over here to get the values, to get my name and to get the email ID. Okay. Now what I will do is if I have to call the two string method to have the data in a representative format in Java, what I have to do, I'll just implement the two string method, right? So let me just create a two string method. Okay, so you can see that two string method is also added and alongside that what I had to do is I have to implement the hash code methods and equals method as well. If you don't want to it will be a default implementation but if you want to you can always override those to have your implementation. Okay, so suppose we are doing that as well. So let me just generate the equals and hash code method as well and I'll just click on next. I will take the help of the IntelliJ idea to create this methods. Okay. And here you can see that the methods are created. So you can see that equal method is also created and hash code method is also created. So here you can see that we have written about 42 line of code just to store two values that is the name and email. Now if I had to use the record to store these values what I have to do? I have to create the record similar to what I have created the class. Okay. So what I will do I will just go ahead and create the record. I'll just click on Java class. I'll just name student record and instead of class I will select record. Okay, that's it. And here you can see that the record is created and here I have to pass the values which I want to store. So suppose I want to store string name and I want to store string email. That's it. You can see that your record is created. Now this will allow you to store two values that is the name and email and it will have all the constructors. It will have two string method hash code equals and the getters as well. Okay, so you can see that with just one line of code with just a declaration you are able to do all the things which you did in this class. Okay, now you don't believe me right. So let's test this out. So I'll go to the main method here. Okay, and here what I'll do I will create the object of both. So let me do that. So what I'll do I'll create the student class first. Okay, student class student class equals to new student class and here I have to pass the two fields. Okay, so one would be name that is Shabir and the other one would be email ID. So that is Shabir at gmail.com. So you can see that the object is created now for student class. Now similarly I can create the object of the record as well. So I can do student record student record equals to new student record. Okay, and here you can see that I will have the default constructor and this constructor you can see that it is taking name and email here. So I'll just pass Kutub here and I will just pass Kutub at gmail.com. So here you can see that I was able to create the object of student class and student record with the similar way. 
okay so here you can see that that's the main difference over here and you got the idea about how to create the object of a record as well now let's understand how we created the record okay what are the things that you need to take care so let's go to the record and here you can see that similarly how you are going to create a class you need to give the keyword that is a record here okay so public record and the name of the record you need to give and after that in the parenthesis just like the methods that you create you need to give the instance variables which you want to have in this record okay so here within the student class you can see that i have given the instance variables this way okay and here i have given this instance variable this way now there is a key difference between a class and a record and when you have to use the record okay by default all the instance variables that you declare here are final okay and once you declare all the things as final it is the immutable object because you can only set the values once so if i do the same thing in class okay currently you can see that i have not added final here the moment i add final for both the fields okay you can see that i am getting the warning here from intellij idea and it is suggesting me to convert this student class to a record because it knows that record will only have the final instance variables so this is the difference where all the variables that you declare here are final here which means that you won't be able to create the setter methods okay and if you are creating the objects and you're trying to set the values at the different levels at that time you should not use the record you can create the simple bojo class but if you are just trying to create the object to store the values and to pass on the values and that object has to be immutable at that time you can create the records okay it's very easy to maintain and it's very easy to create as well now that's the one thing now what are the other things that you can do with the record the other thing is about the constructor you can see that whenever you are creating the class by default the constructor is without the arguments right it will be creating a default constructor in the class this is something that we have added if i remove this okay it will create a default constructor without any fields but in record it will create a constructor just like this as a default constructor okay so this will be the default constructor whatever the parameters that you pass here for that a constructor will be created okay that's called a canonical constructor now the other thing is just like the class you can create the instance method as well suppose i'm creating the instance method public string print blah blah okay i have created this instance method and suppose i'm doing s out print blah blah okay so you can see that it's just a simple method here where i've created void and i'm just uh printing the values here okay so this is the instance method over here now if i want to call this instance method you can call it similarly how you are going to call for a class so if i go to this here okay and if i want to call this method and i can directly call student record dot print blah 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 okay and this is going to print this sorry i have to directly call this right because i cannot print it print it i'm not returning any values so if i run this it should run this okay the other thing is you can also create the static methods as you are going to create in the class so if i want to convert this to static method public static void main then also you are able to create it and you will be able to call via the direct class name okay this is also going to work similarly how you are going to create in class okay so you can see that this is also working you can also create the static variables as well okay so if i want to create public static string default student equals to abc suppose okay so you can see that i'm able to create the static variables as well but i will not be able to create the instance variables okay so if i try to do public string email then you can see that i will not be able to create it okay so you can see that if i just change to email id just to rename it and here you can see that it will give me the error that instance fields is not allowed in the record so why this is not allowed because by default record is a final okay record is a final because it, it implicitly adds the final in it so that's why this is going to be not allowing the instance fields over here okay so that's the one thing and the other thing to note is when you go to the class over here and the getter methods that you can see is it will start with the get and then the name of the variable but in record it will be directly the name of the variable that you declare so if we have to check this you can see i can check here let me just remove this okay and if i go to the here and if i try to print this okay 
and here if i have to take the value of a class okay so, so i how i can do student class dot get name okay but here if i just print it i have to do student record dot name you can see that i will be getting directly not with the get okay so if i run this it will be able to print those two values okay so the other thing is i told you like the by default it will have the two string method as well so let's check that as well so if i just remove get name here and name here okay if i directly pass on the student record it will call the two string method to print it so if i just print it you can see that for this i have added a two string method the implementation of two string right if i go to student class you can see that i have added the implementation but for record i have not added and it by default adds for us okay so that's the other advantage the other thing is you won't be able to extend anything for a particular class okay so if i want to extend any other class you can see that it won't allow me to extend as well because by default it extends the record class okay but if you want to implement the interface that you can do so if you want to implement the interface suppose i'm implementing the clonable one okay you can do it as you're going to do in the class you have to implement the methods that are available and you can work with the same way as class okay so this is also allowed here the other thing is also allowed that you can create the different types of constructor as well suppose you want to create a different constructor that also you can create suppose you want to create a constructor which will just take the name over here that also you can create okay there is also one concept called compact constructor which is only available for the record so let me explain you that as well so generally how we will be creating the constructor is for this student record we have two fields right so how we will do is we will create the same constructor here okay so let me just create a constructor this is a simple constructor that we got right and this is going to set the fields this dot name equals to name and this dot email equals to email okay that's the standard constructor that we got out of the box for the record okay but suppose if we have to do some validations over here okay so suppose i want to do the validation that if name dot is blank okay then throw new illegal argument exception and here i'm passing name should not be null or blank okay so suppose you can see that i have just added some of the validations here and after that what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to set all these values here okay but a compact constructor what it will do is we already know that when we, whenever we are adding this field this way then it will create a constructor of the same format okay and it will set all the values so what i can do is i can remove all these things okay and i can remove these parameters here okay and here you can see that this is a compact constructor where you will just define that this is the constructor and what is the validation that you want to do after this by default it will add the setters okay so if i have to do this and if i run this it should also work so if i go back here and if i don't pass anything here then it should throw that exception so you can see that it throw the illegal argument exception where name should not be blank so you can see that we saw a lot of things about the record here like how we can create the records when to create the records and what are the benefits and what are the different implementations that we can do for the record we can create the record we can pass all the different variables instance variables if there within the record we can create the instance methods static methods we can create the static variables but we cannot create the instance variables we won't be able to extend the class and record won't be extended by the other class as well because it's final but record can implement an interface we also saw about the canonical constructor and a compact constructor as well within the records so these are all the details about a record in java and hope you get all the details out of it if you want to learn more about the records you can always go to the documentation and you can learn about it but this is more than enough to get you started using records now if you have already used record then do let me know in the comment section below like how you have used the records and if you are going to use it and how did you use it that also you can tell me in the comment section below if you have any doubts regarding any of the things that we have covered then also you can comment down i will try to reply you as soon as possible now if you enjoy this video then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos you can also click on the join button to join my channel and support me i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye